Hello from the Boynton Beach City Library and welcome to another Makerspace with Creative Christina. Today we will be painting a mandala. These finished mandalas make a beautiful ornament or a nice cup coaster. Just be sure to seal the finished artwork with Mod Podge to create a water resistant seal. These mandalas were made on a laser cutter and still have the protective masking tape on them. The masking tape is meant to make the painting process easier. Peel off the tape one section at a time as you continue to paint to protect the surrounding area. Supplies include mandala, two paintbrushes, size 00 and size 9, foam brush, painter's palette, acrylic paint, and dishwasher safe Mod Podge. You will also need a plastic cup for water and paper towels. Let's get started. Start by removing the masking tape in the center. Mix the desired color and apply at least two coats of paint to every section. This will become important when applying the Mod Podge at the end. Some paints will be thinner than others and will need additional coats. While the center is drying, remove the masking tape from the outermost section and continue painting. Remember to apply multiple coats on every section. Continue painting, moving from the inside out and then the outside in to give the different sections time to dry between coats. Some paint colors are very thin. Apply as many coats as needed to get the desired look. Let the mandala dry completely, then peel the final bits of masking tape from the lining between all the sections. And remember to remove the tape from the back as well. Once all the masking tape has been removed, apply the first coat of Mod Podge quickly, without going over the same spot too many times or the paint will begin to smear. Wait at least one hour between coats. Apply two to three coats of Mod Podge to the front and back. The Mod Podge needs 28 days to cure before it can be used as a cup coaster. And we're done. Use your mandala however you please. Thanks for watching. <laughs>